Breaking news. The once obscure Lemon Labs, a name whispered in hushed tones and shadowy corners, has been discovered by the military government. A facility shrouded in mystery, shrouded in secrecy, now laid bare for the world to see. The once bustling hub of creation, where the line between science and magic blurred, is now being reduced to ashes. The air is filled with the acrid smell of smoke, the piercing wails of creations unknown, and the relentless roar of fire. The once high-tech, state-of-the-art lab has become a pyre, a testament to the impermanence of man's creation. Lemon Labs, the brainchild of Lemon Robotics, was reputed to be a place where dreams were spun into reality, where the impossible became the norm. The question on everyone's lips now is, where is Lemon Robotics? The creator, the puppeteer of this grand spectacle, is conspicuously absent. The military government's discovery of Lemon Labs has sent shockwaves through the scientific community. How did this happen? What led to this dramatic turn of events? The answers remain elusive, shrouded in the smoke that now engulfs Lemon Labs. What we do know is that Lemon Labs is no more. The lab that once stood as a beacon of scientific exploration and innovation is now a smoldering ruin. The sounds of explosions, the crackle of fire, and the monstrous wails echo in the night, a haunting reminder of what once was. In the coming days, we will strive to uncover more about this startling event. We will delve into the mystery that is Lemon Labs, into the enigma that is Lemon Robotics. We will seek the truth, for it is the truth that will set us free. In conclusion, the fall of Lemon Labs serves as a stark reminder of the power of discovery and the perils of playing God. The lab's creations, once marvels of science, are now lost in the flames, their wails a haunting requiem to man's hubris. The whereabouts of Lemon Robotics remain unknown, adding another layer of intrigue to this unfolding drama. As the smoke clears, we will be there, seeking the truth amidst the ashes.